What's up guys, I'm at the skate park. I'm about to skate a little bit with uh, Kenny, it looks like. He's the only one here. Today we're gonna be talking about skate drama. Skate drama is stupid and pointless. Later in the video, I'm gonna react to Jeff Wan Song's feud with Jason Park. Watch a few of those clips. It's really silly. It's kind of funny. So last time I was at this park, I got into an argument with my other friend over the dumbest thing. And I hope he's not still mad at me about it, but we were arguing over who would win in a game of skate, Joe Biden or Donald Trump. And it actually got pretty heated and pretty intense. I know it's a stupid topic. Neither of them could stand on a skateboard. Neither of them could ollie, you know, but for some reason we just really got into it. I guess there was some like underlining built up tension there that we both needed to express, but we really argued about that. I know it sounds silly. Who do you guys think would win just to stir the pot a little bit there? So Kenny's wearing this beanie inside out and the tag is on top of it and it's driving me crazy. That's the kind of stuff that starts skate drama. Grown men shouldn't be that emotional. Yesterday I just loosened my trucks all the way up and just skated with the bolt almost falling off. And it was kind of fun. It really didn't change things much. So today I've got it tightened back up. Yeah, slappy trucks actually skate pretty good loose, but they skate like a normal truck when they're tight. They feel more like thunders or something when you tighten them all the way up. Thought I'd been rolling weird. Turns out there's no balls in my bearing. It still skates though. So my friend is a good guy. He's just wrong about that one thing. Just Trump is just physically stronger than Joe Biden. He's a little bit younger, not much, but have you seen the way he shakes hands with the other world leaders and just pulls them in? He's just physically stronger. I feel like he would maybe be able to bend down and roll on his belly on the board or something. Like one simple trick to get one letter on Joey B. I don't take skate drama personally and I don't take it seriously. Whenever somebody doesn't like me, I always take it as a compliment because every single time it turns out that they're either jealous of my skating or jealous of my following on social media. These days, everybody wants to be an influencer. Everybody wants to be a YouTuber. So if you've got a following on Instagram or YouTube, people are gonna get jealous. Personally, I haven't had to deal with much skate drama. Everybody around here is pretty cool. Occasionally, I'll have one of my friends tell me that someone else said something about me, but they never actually come and say it to my face because they're scared, they're intimidated. If somebody is saying something to someone else about you and they're afraid to say it to your face, you should take that as a compliment too. That means you're intimidating. So I usually have an older audience on YouTube, but if you're a younger kid, you're watching this video, just know nothing really matters that much. Do your best. It doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks. I remember being young and feeling like everything mattered. But the older you get, the more you realize that nothing anyone thinks or says really matters. All right, so I'm not gonna watch this whole video. I don't have 13 minutes to waste sitting here watching this video. I know what happened, but we'll skip through it. All right, so this is a video that I honestly did not think I was ever gonna make, but certain recent events have kind of forced my hand and forced me to respond and make this I've met Jason in person. I have his phone number in my phone saved. To more judge people on who they are as a person, which leads us to the drama. I'll give you guys the entire timeline because basically how this came up in the first place is I was doing a live stream around uh, two days ago or something. My live streams are basically, I do them in my backyard on the mini ramp where I take trick requests live. And somebody in the chat came in and they just said, oh, what's this I hear about you snitching on Jeff Wan? And I was like, what are you talking about? What do you mean snitching on Jeff Wan? And he's like, oh, Jeff Wan just did a podcast with Lamont Holt. And he went on talking about you for a while about you snitching or something. And I had no idea about any of that. So, so basically Jeff Wan's song did a trick at a totally different spot. Jason did that trick at a different spot and somebody else wrote on the post that it was an NBD. 
so never been done. But NBD kind of pertains to that spot. Jason didn't actually say that about his own trick. Somebody else said it. So then Jeff Wan Song posted on Instagram that basically that was not an NBD. He had done it first. Then Gary from Skateline calls him up and he's like, what are you doing? This is why people don't like you. Why are you posting stuff like this? So this is embarrassing. It's like high school drama, but these guys are probably in their 30s. The reason my YouTube channel is not bigger is because I just don't care about these kinds of situations. You know, like I don't get into the drama like Gifted Hater or what is that guy's name? Um, Dan Weebs. I don't get excited when two skateboarders get mad at each other. It doesn't like pump me up. Oh, I gotta go make a video. I actually have trouble thinking of ideas for videos. So this actually works perfectly with this video as an illustration of what not to do. It's a pretty sunset. The cops are checking me out here. So later on, Jeff Wan Song posts some really bad stuff about Nigel Alexander over on the Slap Forum. I mean, every post on that website is pretty much the same garbage, but Jason is friends with Nigel and he's not really friends with Jeff Wan Song, so he tells Nigel. And then when Nigel sees Jeff at the skate park, he brings it up and he's like, hey, you've been talking about me on Slap? So they have this beef, but then they work it out. They talk about it. But then Jeff Wan Song goes on Lamont Holt's podcast and brings it up again. So that's why Jason is bringing this up. So then Jason actually prints off the Slap comments and reads them all right so this is silly we should just forget about it stop talking about it move on no one should get fired or harassed about this i would take jason's side but really it's not a big deal this is a silly situation i don't know why anyone gets mad about silly situations like this i guess it may affect their career if their career is skateboarding they're a professional skateboarder they're trying to sell boards if you do something that people don't like and someone's spreading rumors about you, it can hurt you financially in your career as a skateboarder. As a YouTuber, it's a little bit different. Like for me, if I upset people or made people mad by the things I said, it would probably actually help me as a YouTuber because more people would watch the videos. I feel like YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, they show you the stuff you don't want to see, the stuff you comment on, the stuff that makes you mad. It's either that or they get you stuck in that echo chamber where they just show you all the stuff you like because you spend more time watching that. Either way, I think controversial videos do better in the algorithm. So this is a different situation than the situation with Carlos Lostra and Nigel from Braille. That situation had real victims. It was actually a bad situation and luckily Aaron Cairo filed a police report about it after Dan Weebs brought it to his attention. I guess Nigel or whoever else knew about this at the time didn't go to Aaron. Aaron is kind of absent at Braille. He, I don't know what he's doing with his time, but he's not in the building most of the time they're filming content he's got a wife and kids i believe he has kids and he's probably spending time with his family he's got plenty of money from the youtube channel so i started to make a video about that situation but that situation was so heavy i don't know what i could say about it that hasn't already been said i don't know what i could add to the conversation and i don't really want to draw more attention to the situation or the victims involved. So I just turned the camera off, scrapped that video, and decided to make this video instead. I just don't like skate drama. So guys, stop getting mad at each other. It all boils down to jealousy. Stop getting jealous. Don't covet your neighbor's wife or your neighbor's kickflip or your neighbor's tray flip. Just be happy with what you have and don't want what someone else has. Don't be jealous of the way someone looks, the way someone dresses, how much money they have, or how good they are at skateboarding. Just be thankful for how good you are at skateboarding. Be thankful for what you have. All the crimes and all the sins we commit come from our jealousy because we want more. I know a lot of people get off social media because it just makes them jealous and it makes them unhappy. Personally, I've never had that happen. I've never been scrolling on Instagram and felt jealous of anything anyone else had to the point that it 
makes me feel sad. I don't care that Andrew Tate has a Bugatti. I don't want a Bugatti. Imagine every time you stay at a hotel, you have to write out Bugatti on that paper that's asking you what make and model your car is. Like who even knows how to spell Bugatti? I've never felt sad because of social media. I guess I've felt sad about the state the world's in, but I've never felt jealous. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what someone else can do. It doesn't matter how many likes you have. It doesn't matter how many followers you have. Just have fun skateboarding, do your best, put it out there. Don't be afraid to make YouTube videos or make Instagram posts. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. And if you're young, I know you feel like it does. But the older you get, you're gonna realize none of that matters. The thing about skateboarding is you don't even need a single friend. It's not like badminton or pickleball. You don't even need someone else to skate with. It doesn't matter what the weather's like. It could be raining and snowing. You can skate at any time, anywhere. And there's no rules, you know? You can just do whatever you want and it's still good. You don't have to share it with anybody. You can keep it all to yourself or you can share it with the whole world on social media. But either way, you're gonna be okay. So I think being emotionally intelligent means you don't have to worry or even think about your emotions. You get to the point where emotions don't even cross your mind. As long as you're like that and you're still happy, to me that's success. So if you're involved in something that's causing you to have negative emotions, you might have to step away from that for a bit and regulate that. Treat other people like you would want to be treated because other people are not that different than you. Now, if they're doing something stupid or dangerous, that doesn't mean you can't call them out or say something about it, but don't be jealous of them if they're doing better than you. Death is the great equalizer, and nobody's really doing that much better than anyone else. We're all equally fallen. None of us know that much about science. Even the smartest people in the world, you'll listen to their lectures and you're like, wow, is that really all we know? So be happy with what you have and don't covet everything everyone else has. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos and hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.